Hey there Blue Mages, Liam here, and welcome back to Blue Academy. Just like the leveling video, this is a video that's definitely overdue. There's still a lot of misconceptions about the mechanics of learning spells as a Blue Mage, so I'm going to try to clear some of that up. The game itself doesn't really do a great job of explaining some of the spell learning intricacies, but the FF14 community has done a good job of figuring all of this out. When we actually unlock the job, it's explained that Blue Mages learn spells by observing enemies using spells, just like in other Final Fantasy games, but it doesn't really say much beyond that. No matter what, these three things must be true. Number one, the enemy needs to use the spell. Number two, the enemy needs to die. And number three, you need to be alive when the enemy dies. It's important to call each of these things out, as some of them are not immediately obvious to everyone, and it can actually burn you when trying to learn spells. The first one, the enemy needs to use the spell, is actually explained in game. And this is consistent with other Final Fantasy games. If you're aiming to learn a spell, just make sure the enemy uses it doesn't have to target you with the spell, such as with the enemy skill materia in Final Fantasy VII, but it just has to use it. The second one, the enemy needs to die, seems like a no-brainer, but it can be kind of weird. For example, people sometimes find it strange that they can't learn Perpetual Ray from Burden of the Sun. After all, Onslaughter uses it there. The thing is, we never actually kill Onslaughter in that raid, so we don't learn it. We do learn it from Burden of the Father, though, where we do actually kill Onslaughter. There are a few other weird examples of this, but this is the most common one, so I figure it's worth calling that one out. The last condition, you need to be alive when the enemy dies, is just as important as the other two, but it's also one of the easiest to forget. I've been in lots of party finder groups where people are trying to learn spells, and they'll sting the boss at the end to try to kill the boss, and then find out that they didn't actually learn the spell. So just try to remind yourself every single time that your main goal is to actually just stay alive until the end while killing the enemy. So these are the basics, but there is one other factor to consider, whether we're running synced versus unsynced. In case you don't know what that means, this has to do with the undersized party option in Duty Finder. If checked, then your character level and your item level don't get synced down, and you can go in with a party that isn't full. This matters because if we run Duty Synced, meaning undersized party is not checked, we are guaranteed to learn the spell so long as the previous three requirements are fulfilled. However, if we run unsynced, we only have a chance to learn the spell, and that chance decreases as the spell's star rating increases. It's worth pointing out that the unsynced rate is what applies to overworld spells and mass carnival spells as well. There's no way to guarantee that we will learn spells from enemies outside of Duty Finder content. Additionally, spell learning is treated as an enemy drop of sorts. What this means is that if one blue mage learns the spell, everyone will learn it. That's not an independent learn for each blue mage in the party. And as far as I can tell, this applies to both duties and the overworld. Since it's a guaranteed learn, it's almost always best for us to run Duty Synced. Otherwise, it could take many runs in order to learn the spells. That being said, there are certain spells that I would still recommend doing unsynced. If you have a level 80 buddy, learning Glass Dance from Shiva is probably going to be easier by running unsynced many times than it will be to get a synced group to complete Shiva. She's still quite tricky to run synced, and it's unlikely that it will be faster to do it synced. However, if you have a competent group and you're confident that you can clear it, you can just do it synced. Additionally, the spells needed for certain job quests like Mind Blast and Glower are actually guaranteed learns even when running unsynced. So if you're just powering through your quests, it will be fastest to do those unsynced as well. There's also a very common misconception that you only get the guaranteed learn through synced if it's a full blue party, but that's just not true. Uh, you can be the only blue in a party and you will still learn the spell. The only real benefit to running with a full blue mage party is if you're trying to complete your blue mage log at the same time. However, if this is the case, I recommend mentioning it in Party Finder or at the beginning of the dungeon, otherwise people will probably leave right after learning the spell, as that's what most people are really after. One other small thing to mention is that in the most recent live letter, which was 5.4 Part 2, they announced what you can see here, which is that they're actually separating the unsynced and the uh, undersized party options. So in the future, you can actually go into a dungeon by yourself or with, you know, an undersized party of blue mages and do it synced, and still get that guaranteed learn rate. So this is actually a pretty nice tool to add to our arsenal in the future. So there is some intricacy here to blue spell learning, but if you want to learn spells 100% of the time, just remember, make sure the enemy casts the spell, kill the enemy, don't die, do it synced, and that's pretty much all there is to it. There are a lot of spells to hunt in the game, but you can maximize your chances and save yourself a lot of time by keeping these things in mind. Now it is possible that this will change with the level 70 update, and if that's the case I'll make a new video explaining that, but for now, this is definitely the best strategy that I've had. So, good luck with your spell learning!
If you liked this video, feel free to check out these other ones. While you're at it, sting that subscribe button, share your bad breath in the comments, and stay tuned for more Blue Mage content.